Hi, this is Lucia with The Art of Love. I'm a dating and relationship expert specializing in helping you get your ex back or to get over your ex. Today, I want to talk about breaking no contact and the dangers of it. Recently, one of my clients had a session booked with me, a first session, and he couldn't control himself. Unfortunately, he broke no contact the day before we had our session. He couldn't even wait 24 hours. And as you can imagine, the results were not pretty. So I want to talk about that. But first, I want to welcome back the No Contact Army. Have you been a good little soldier or a bad little soldier? And all good soldiers download the Silencio app if you have the iPhone. The link is below every single video and it will help you to stay in no contact. And if you too would like to join our No Contact Army, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button and the bell notification and you're in. And to read our manual, go to nocontactsecrets.com where you can read two free chapters before purchasing the book. So previously I had talked in another video and I don't remember the name of it, about the fact that a breakup is like a war. I did the war analogy. After all, you know, it's the no contact army, so why not? Plus, I'm a veteran, believe it or not. Yes, I am a veteran. And um, I said that basically a war is that one side wants something and the other side wants the opposite. And then they go to war. And that's exactly what happens after a breakup. Your ex does not want you in their life, at least not romantically, and you want to be in their life romantically. So it is a war. And there are certain rules of war, which if you go against them, you might get shot down. And I used to work out with um, a former Navy SEAL at my gym. And one day there was um, an argument there between two guys and they were about 20, 25 feet away from us. Luckily it soon de-escalated, but I said to him afterwards, if it had escalated would you have gone over there and he said hell no and I was surprised I said what why not you're a Navy SEAL it's like come on you're like Superman you can do anything <laughs> and he said something I'll never forget he said you never go into enemy territory if you don't know what weapons they have and we can actually apply that to no contact believe it or not I can find an analogy between <laughs> no contact and anything you don't enter enemy territory, meaning you don't contact your ex unless you know, no, not what weapons they have, but what their interest level is. Because depending on their interest level, you will either be met with open arms or you will be shot at, figuratively, of course, shot down, I should say. And that's exactly what happened to my client. He contacted his ex and yeah, she wasn't having it. She did not want to speak to him. So this is the danger of breaking no contact because you're remembering how your ex was in the past when they loved you and all was well. And you think, oh, surely I can call her. Surely I can call him or text. And then you go in unarmed, not knowing what their interest level is, and you get shot down. This is why you have to wait for them to come to you, for them to contact you because then you can kind of gauge what their interest level is. You have to determine what their interest level is. This is why I have you doing all the things that I have you doing, which is not responding to insignificant texts, waiting two days if you are gonna respond, and many other things I've talked about. It's all about gauging their interest level, and it's also about raising their anxiety and their interest level. That's what that part of no contact is. Yes, I know part of no contact is to get yourself back, to work on yourself, but come on, let's be honest here. Most people want to use no contact to get their ex back. And you're not going to get them back if you don't raise their interest level and if you don't raise their anxiety. And the only way to get them to put down their weapons, continuing with the war analogy, is to raise their anxiety. The higher their anxiety goes, the fact that they realize they probably can't get you back at any time if they're starting to have second thoughts, the higher their interest level goes, the less weapons they will have and the less likely you are to be shot down 
if you contact them. And also this client, he kept saying, well, is, is all hope lost? Is all hope lost? Is it over? Does that mean I'll never get her back? Is it, is it over? Is it over? And clients often ask that. And I know the answer that they're waiting for from me. They want me to say, no, no, don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, you still have a chance. You still have a chance. I'm not going to say that. You know me. I keep it real. I'm not going to lie to you. You know, if you want the truth, come to me. If you don't want the truth, then go to someone else. And my answer to that is always, uh, you better change your energy and you better change your attitude because if that's your attitude, then you are going to lose her or him and there is no hope. Most importantly is your attitude towards it. And if you think there's no hope, then guess what? You're right. And people often think they're the exceptions. Like, yeah, I know what Lucia said, but this is different. This is an exception. No, it's not. Or they say, well, my situation is complicated. No, it's not. There may be a lot of moving parts. It may seem complicated for you. It may look like calculus to you, but for me, it's simple arithmetic. Someone broke up with you, or you had to break up with someone, and you want them back, right? Okay, that, that's it. It's not complicated, but people will make it complicated by breaking no contact and lowering their chances. So hopefully I've convinced you to stay in no contact until your ex says something significant. And if you're not sure about that, I've done a video on that. I'll put the link up here in the right hand corner. And if you are freaking out and are about to break no contact, listen to my no contact playlist and my no contact success stories and hopefully they will convince you to break no or not to break <laughs> to not break no contact because you only have a certain window of time after a breakup to do things correctly the more things you do correctly after a breakup the higher your chances of getting your ex back the less things you do correctly meaning you keep breaking no contact the less chance of getting your ex back and i want you to have the best chance okay and if you need help with that, you can always contact me for private coaching. The link is below every single video. It is theartoflove.net and we will send you the rates. If you're listening to this as a podcast, please rate and review. If you are watching this on YouTube, then please like, subscribe and share. And finally, remember that love inspires, empowers, uplifts and enlightens.